everybody, Adam Aguilar here. Today we are playing Half-Life 2. And we are getting in the airboat. Press E to get in. And this is the move around and look around. I wouldn't recommend this until later, but I would recommend just using one hand. Makes it easier, at least for me. That is pretty fast. Okay. But yeah, you just drive. Left and right. Forward is gas and backwards is reverse and all that goodness uh, as you can see from that dropper there must be a head crab or something in there so I would recommend just going like that pushing this and then it kills a head crab in there because there's a head crab in there that scares you but well fuck I apologize, uh, forgot you had to hold this. This is where the holding stuff comes in. I thought it was, I thought it was in, uh, episode one. But and there you go. And it will hold completely. Now the head crab will interfere and, uh, stop your thing. That's why it comes out of nowhere. And, uh, I think load. No. But it comes out of nowhere and stops your holding. That's the reason for the head crab. Okay. Welcome to the new chapter of Water Hazard. Um, not really anything super special about this. It's just boats and getting stuck. Boom. Up there, you can see Gary. Hi, Gary. If you don't know who Gary is, he's just the little alien thing at the very beginning. I don't know. I use the word alien as in an unknown species. Because he's too creepy to be human. Uh, after this, you go right. See, that's the reason. Use a cursor. And to avoid just going through there, you can easily just go up here. Easily go up here and then crouch jump. Throw these down. And this is known as a water physics puzzle. Such as, these things are floating, so you must grab them and place them under. As so. And they lift up this ramp. refuse to look at the picture. And they lift up this ramp so that your boat isn't as heavy as m anymore and you can easily just go through it and whatnot. If you understand what I'm saying, I'm very glad for you. Because usually I can't understand what I'm saying. Which is very weird. Anywho, after you go off the ramp, you go straight and the uh, combine comes in to say, Hey, dick, you can't go in this way. And you're like, fuck you. But this also teaches you about running people over. Ready? Kaha, fooled you. I didn't run anyone over, and I was trying to really, really badly. See, I ran someone over. Ha, ah, I win. All right, but I'm just going to rush through this because I really hate driving. I really do. Real life, I can stand, but here, it's too much of a complication for me. Anyways, uh, you can either go through this way or the other way. The other way has barnacles, so be careful, guys. Just, just letting you know. Be da, 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 da. Okay, so after this, you go right. And then Dickface McGee over here is like, Hey, I'm shooting at you, and you're like, fuck you. And then you can just easily go like that. And his uh, board will break, and you can't do it. And oh no, the gate's closed, so what do you do? Oh, well, that's pretty simple, actually. You get out, and you go over here, and climb up this ladder, go over here. And if you didn't kill the guy, then you'd kill him here. Uh, go over here, open this. Okay, no one. If you go in here, you can get a new weapon known as the grenade. It's actually very useful. 
uh, health in there. Uh, I think there's head crabs in there and supplies, so if you want to, y you can be my guest and do whatever. Then there's a shitload of mat man hacks here, so. And also combine. But I'm more worried about the man hacks because they kind of are like electronically bleep bloop scary. I didn't say to the point where I would pee my pants, just a little bleep bloop. Little bleep bloop. And then also, if you want, you can get grenades here. So, I think they're teaching you to use grenades here to throw. It's pretty hard to, um, get a hold of the grenade lobbing and whatnot, but once you do, it's pretty cool. I still don't have a complete handle of it, but I've seen a bunch of skilled people do it, and, and I'm amazed. Even if they are lucky shots. Alright, so this is the coolest thing ever. This is the controls to uh, open the gate, but it won't open, so what the fuck do you do? You explode, bitch! <laughs> when I first saw that, that's when I th knew that Half-Life 2 would be awesomely epic. I mean, yeah, running away from the law is pretty epic, too, but, I mean, come on. Sending down a pylon to fucking blind you, but sending down a bunch of pylons is just, like, shooting down. It's not even the word pylon. I like saying pylon. Pylon! What the fuck did I grab? <laughs> I was trying to reload. <laughs> oh, God. See how I'm just, like, rushing through this? This is just me, okay? Oh, it, it... Okay, sure. Why not? Then you can jump to go faster. Uh, I want to try skilling. What? Uh, jump! Oh, I thought I could make it in. Oh, well. Next, you go on the boat again, and avoid that thing. I mean, it doesn't hurt you as, okay, it doesn't hurt you as much, but it still hurts. And you don't want to be hurt in a health-based game, which is most games. And this is the introduction of rockets. Rockets kill you. Duh. But yeah, sometimes a uh, combine will have ships that shoot rockets and all that goodness, and they will shoot at you. Hmm, wonder why? Because you are the free man! See, now that's running someone over. I mean, I did it a couple of times, but that's running someone over, making them flip right over your car, and I did not see those rockets, I got really lucky. And oh no, fire, what do you do? You go off a ramp and use physics of air! And burn yourself as well, because fire needs air. Now, since there's more rockets over here, I would recommend going down here and going just through all this crap. And... Ah! Load. There we go. Um... want to keep going, but then again, I'm not entirely sure. What's ahead? What is this? Oh! And I can show you this. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is this is a weird thing where you are supposed to put stuff in there or actually... Oh, what are you supposed to do? I think it's put... Or take out stuff from there. Go through there. Or you can easily do this and just run into the wall and you'll get the Lembata location. I don't know why... I don't know why they don't usually do that, but you can easily get health and all that if you just casually run into that little sign right there, the Lambada sign. And I, 
I was trying to occupy your time because we are running out of time, guys. Surprisingly. Okay, so next time on Let's Play Half-Life 2, we will try and finish the water hazard level. Because that's the purpose of Let's Play. Okay, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.